Diabetic food ulcers is the dominant cause of lower limb amputations. 6% of patients who develop diabetic foot ulcers are hospitalized because of infection and other related complications. Diabetic foot ulcers are open sores or wounds that occur on the bottom of the feet in roughly 15% of individuals with diabetes. In addition to causing pain, unsightly sores, and loss of mobility, severe ulcers that are left without treatment can lead to amputation. Anyone with diabetes can develop foot ulcers though some peoples are more susceptible to them than others. Diabetic foot ulcers are caused by the several factors, such as the nerve damages, which is we call the diabetic neuropathy, and the poor blood circulation, and also the foot deformity. These factors together make the wound unhealed at the foot of the diabetic patient, and also the diabetes-related condition, like the kidney disease or vascular disease can make the wound getting worse. The symptoms of the diabetic foot ulcer, as we know that if we have the ulcer, there would be a pain. But in the patient with diabetic foot ulcer, their nerves are also damaged, so they would not feel pain at the ulcer. So most of the symptoms are the discharge from the ulcer or the sign of the infection like the redness, swelling, or the fever. So if the patient gets these problems, it's indicated that they have the infection at the ulcer. If the patient leaves the ulcer untreated, the wound could be worsening by the superimposed infection. The infection can lead to uh, the limb loss, the amputation, and also it could be life threatening because uh, if the infection go through the bloodstream, uh, it could be a systemic infection and could be a life-threatening condition. And the poor blood circulation, the neuropathy, and the food deformity could be the accelerated cause of the worsening ulcer also. The leading objective of treating foot ulcer is to promptly heal the condition. The faster the healing process, the lesser the chance of infection. More importantly, treating foot ulcer will prevent potential amputation and ultimately improve the quality of life. Sometimes we can track back the root cause of diabetic foot ulcer, but sometimes we cannot. The first factor is neuropathy. For example, having an imbalanced foot, like when some people use their side of the foot to walk, but they're not aware because they have a loss of sensation. First, we try offloading, meaning to relieve pressure from the tip top or from the side where we can detect the pressure point. The offloading technique can be classified into two categories. The first one is internal offloading, meaning surgery or doing something to the foot the second category is external offloading, which means modifying everything that is not your foot, like shoes, shoe inserts, customer-made shoes, or padding or donut padding to prevent the pressure point. If we know the cause of the foot ulcer is from the neuropathy or deformity of the foot or imbalance, uh, both internal and external offloading can be done. The second factor is vascular problem. We can expand or dilate with volumes, make a puncture and insert the balloon into the blockage and dilate stenosis point, which will improve profusion or have good blood flow to the organ or to the foot. The third factor is infection. When we detect the problem, the wound, if the patient has inflammations like pain, warmness, redness, or swollen, we will walk out the case. If it shows that the wound is infected, we will start antibiotics. Addressing diabetic foot ulcers and seeking immediate treatment is vital to make sure the symptoms do not develop and end with complications. 
because infection can spread quickly and delaying treatment can lead to limb amputation. Regardless of how small the wound is, it may rapidly turn into a foot ulcer infection if not treated properly. Remember, early detection of diabetic foot ulcer is the best way to prevent a loss of limb. Wetany, victory for life. Leave us a comment below if you have any questions and please hit the subscribe button to stay updated with our healthcare videos.